Hi, hello all. Welcome to Allah Education Channel. In this video, I am going to explain you the solutions for the questions that were asked in ESET 2020 from the subject for electronics. On the screen, you are seeing the question number one. The question is, during forward blocking state, a thyristor is associated with. For this, we need to identify the correct answer. As you know that, a thyristor will operate in three states. The first one is forward blocking state, the second one is forward conduction state, and the third one is reverse blocking state. So, here we need to understand the concept what is meant by blocking. So, whether it is a forward blocking state or a reverse blocking state, a thyristor will block the applied voltage. So that, what might be the voltage that is applied across anode and cathode terminal that will be blocked by the thyristor in forward blocking state. As a result, the voltage across the thyristor would be equal to the applied voltage. And since it is blocking the voltages, it does not allow any current to flow through between the terminals anode and cathode. That is the reason why no current will flow through the anode and cathode terminals. So, the answer is the current is low and voltage is high. So, out of the four options that are given for us, if you look at option number two, low current and large voltage is the correct option. So, the answer is low current, large voltage. Now, let us move to question number two. So, here the question is, the VA characteristics of UJT, UJT means unijunction transistor is similar to, here the unijunction transistor will have a negative resistance region in it. So, the characteristics of this UJT is similar to that of a tunnel diode, but not all the characteristics, but the characteristics of this UJT is similar to that of the characteristic of the tunnel diode. So, the answer is similar to tunnel diode in some respects. So, option 3 is the correct option for this question. Now, let us move to question number 3. The question is, UJT when used for triggering an SDR has the waveform. That means, when UJT is used for triggering the SDR, triggering means bringing SDR from off state to on state. So, the waveform that was given by the UJT is in the form of, that was the question, what we are asked with. In general, the output voltage of UJT triggering circuit is a sawtooth waveform. So, the answer is sawtooth waveform and option 2 is the correct option. Coming to question number 4, the object of connecting resistance and capacitance across grid circuit is to protect SCR gate is against. Here, in Triggering the SCR, we make use of gate triggering circuit. So, by doing so, what happens is the gate circuit is to be protected. For that purpose, resistance and capacitances connected in series are connected across the gate circuit. This is to protect the SCR from the noise signals. So, the correct answer is noise signals, and option 1 is the correct option for this question. Now, Coming to question number 5. In a 3 phase fuel converter, the 6 SCRs are fired at an interval of. In the question, we are given that there are 6 SCRs. So, we need to find out the time interval for each SCR to be turned on. We know that the angular displacement for one cycle is 360 degrees and we are having 6 thyristors in the circuit. So, each thyristor will be fired at an instant equal to 360 by 6, which is equal to 60 degrees. So, the answer is 60 degrees and the correct option is option number 3. Now, let us see question number 6. For a full grid inverter with the following load, R is equal to 2 ohm, XL is equal to 8 ohm and XC is equal to 6 ohm. And we are asked to find out what is the relation between output voltage and output current? For that purpose, what we need to do is, first we need to find out the load impedance. The load impedance ZL is equal to R plus J into 
xl minus xc so here r is equal to 2 plus j into 8 minus 6 which is equal to 2 plus j2 so if you observe the impedance value here we are having plus sign that means inductive reactance is dominant than that of capacitive reactance so that what happens is the ZL behaves like a series RL circuit. In a series RL circuit, the current lags behind the applied voltage. So, the output current has to lag the voltage. Here, option 2 and option 3 may be and option 4 also correct. But, what is the angle with which it lags behind? So, the angle phi is equal to tan inverse x by r here x is equal to 2 r is equal to 2 which is equal to tan inverse 1 tan inverse 1 is equal to 45 degrees so the correct answer is the output current lags the voltage by an angle 45 degrees so option 2 is the correct option for this question here this question is asked based on cycloconverter the principle of previous cycloconverter is to, as we know that, cycloconverter is a circuit that converts the frequency from one magnitude to another magnitude. So, what happens is, whenever a three-phase cycloconverter is to be used, then we need to vary the firing angle of the devices that are connected in the circuit. So, the correct answer is, vary progressively the firing angle of the devices and option 3 is the correct option for this question. Now, coming to question number 8, the DC motor terminal voltage supplied by a solid state proper for speed control purposes, where is that with the duty ratio of the proper. Here, this was a repeated question. The same question is asked in 2019 and 2018 of ESET examination. Here, for any DC to DC converter, the output voltage V0 is equal to D into V in, where this D is known as the duty ratio of the choker. For any DC to DC converter, the value of V in is kept constant. As a result, V0 is proportional to D. Or, depending upon the value of this V, the value of this V0 is going to change. This is known as the linear relation. So, the answer is linearly and option 4 is the correct option for this question. Now, coming to question number 9, SMPS are based on DAS principle. SMPS means switched mode power supply. In general, these switched mode power supplies are used to convert AC voltage into DC voltage. It contains a rectifier circuit and a DC to DC converter circuit. These SMPS devices are designed based on the principle of chopper so the correct answer is chopper and the correct option is option two now let us move to the last question question number 10 dash is used in the rotating type ups system to supply the mains ups means uninterrupted power supply system in uninterrupted power supply we need to have a rotating type device that may be a generator so, in general, in India, in our country, we are using AC supply of single phase or three phase system. So, the device that supplies single phase or three phase AC voltages is an alternator. So, the answer is alternator and option 1 is the correct option. If you like this video, please share this video with your friends those who are appearing for ESET 2021. If you want answers for any of the questions that were asked in previous years ESET examination, please post that question in the comment section so that we prepare a video for the question what you have asked and upload the same into our channel. But don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.